Hey everyone, it's Ben and today we're going to take a look at a tiny solar option from RAV Power. It's their outdoor power bank plus solar. Pretty cool little item coming up right now on Living Survival. So this is the RAV Power 15,000 dual USB battery bank with solar option. Now of course you're not going to get a whole lot of charge from a solar panel this size. You would want to go to a larger folding model like I previously reviewed. But what I thought was nice about this, and I've reviewed several of these before in the past, but they haven't been as rugged and they certainly haven't had the capacity that this one has at 15,000 milliamp hours. At the top is your battery level. Now again, built-in battery bank. We all know these are very, very useful to have on hand. Uh, in an emergency situation, just in your vehicle. I use these every day at home to charge my devices. I don't plug into the wall anymore. I just keep a few of these charged and, uh, and use the power from those. In a camping situation or certainly a survival situation, even if the battery pack was dead, you'd still be able to get a percent or two charge on a cellular device, which of course, to me, is your more, most in, effective and important method of being uh, rescued. Next to the four lights there, you have your charge indicator, so that's gonna light up red when you're getting a charge from the sun. Dual USB outports, uh, outputs, you've got your uh, dual in and out here, so you can charge the device, which is what I recommend doing when you're at home or next to you know a computer or something. Keep this guy charged because for the most part, it's gonna be a very high capacity uh, USB battery bank for you. So you've got the uh, USB output there. They are the iSmart outputs, which are gonna detect the proper charging levels for the device that you have connected. You have another one over here, dual 2.1 amp outputs. Then you have your power button here, which will allow you to see the status of your charge. And then on the back side, they've included a light. Now in past models, the light's been like up here, or it's maybe been down here or on the side. I really like how they integrated it into the back of the case here because it really works well in a tent, for example, or at night, you can throw some cordage around this and you could hang it and it becomes sort of a mini lantern. If you hold the button down, that will activate the light. And you can see it is quite a bright light. So very useful, I think, to have a light on something like this. And I think that the placement is perfect. You can see that it's got a very ruggedized case here. Uh, it is got dustproof covers and of course it is quite shockproof. You know, it's got that durable design to it, which is fantastic considering you could just throw this into any pack you you know really don't have to worry about it as far as electronics go a lot of times you want to be very delicate with electronics this guy like i said you know no problems with dropping it now they don't claim that it is waterproof however i left this thing outside i was charging it up left it outside for two days and it rained straight for two days it got soaked but nothing internally got soaked the covers kept the water out and uh the way that this is sealed, it was it was sitting face up just like this. Nothing got wet, still operates perfectly fine. Now I probably wouldn't uh, you know, submerge this for any period of time, but I am confident that it can certainly take uh, some light moisture, or even if you were to uh, drop it into a river lake or stream, for example, pluck it back out, I'm sure it would work just fine. So operation, again, very straightforward. Simply just press the button on the side to see the level of your charge. You can open up either one of the USB ports on the uh, side of the device. Go ahead and plug in any USB device. I'm going to plug in my phone. You can see it's charging there no problems at all and then again you have 15,000 milliamps which is quite a lot of power it's probably it probably would charge my phone at least three times so great amount of capacity and a nice ruggedized and very handy form factor as i said when you first get it i would recommend charging it all the way up or keeping it charged and you do so via the micro usb input there it will uh, blink as it is charging. Now it does take about eight hours to charge via the wall, which in my opinion is a little bit slow, but uh, it would take much, much longer uh, if it's even possible to charge this thing up using the sun. Again, with this size solar panel, it's just for emergencies only. You're not gonna be relying on this to give you a full charge on your cell phone directly from the sun. Now, of course, you do have that 15,000 milliamps that you can draw off of, but what I wanna know is, can I drain the charge completely and still charge my device even at that slow rate with the power of the sun? 
you can see I'm down to the last LED and it's still pumping out 1.64 amps and that's pretty good for a battery bank. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to charge devices till it's fully depleted, till it won't charge a device anymore and then we're gonna stick it in direct sunlight and see what kind of output we get. So now we are completely out of juice as far as the battery bank goes. I do have the red LED on indicating that I'm getting a charge. It's getting late in the day, so I have it propped up towards the sun. I'm gonna go ahead and plug my phone in. Now I did drain this all the way dry to where it wasn't outputting to any device anymore and my signal uh, meter shut off as well. So I'm gonna plug the phone in and we're gonna see what we get. I did get a tone on my phone and it is indicating that we are charging. So we are charging directly from the solar panel, which is beautiful. Let's go ahead and put the meter on and see what kind of amperage we're getting. So I put the meter on and I'm currently getting 1.09 amps, 1.1 amps. So that is beautiful. That means that I am getting not quite as much of a charge, which you would get directly from the battery bank, but I am getting enough charge to charge my phone. So at one amp, I'm gonna get probably a few percent every 20 minutes, meaning that it is a reliable source for a survival or backup charge to your USB devices. Now I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to see this, but it is 6.09 p.m. You can see it's mostly cloudy. We do have a, uh, the sun is shining at the moment and I'm at 95%. So let's go till 620 and we'll see how much we get as far as the charge goes. So as you can probably see, I'm dealing with a mostly cloudy day and the sun has actually dipped behind the trees. Looking at the time here though, we are at 623 p.m. and we're at 98%. So we got about 3% in just over 10 minutes. Extremely happy with that. If you can get 3% in 10 minutes, it's definitely capable of giving you that emergency charge. So certainly my more full featured portable solar panels such as the one I previously reviewed from Goal Zero are gonna be my go-to when camping or backpacking or just at, at and around the home when I need or want that solar power to charge my devices. Obviously the panel is much bigger so it collects more sun, therefore it's gonna give you more charging power. But the RAV power I think has its place being that it's super portable, you can stick it in you know, the pocket of your uh, pants and just have portable solar power in the event that you need a few percent charge in an emergency. So again, great for a kit, great for the glove box in your car, great for camping if you're going to use it as a lantern maybe at night in the tent and it will give you that emergency charge if you need it. It's definitely very durable. As I said, I left it out in the rain for two days straight. No issues with it. It's got the dust proof uh, covers and it is shock proof so you could, it could withstand some drops. So I think for uh, what it is and what it does, it's probably one of the best out there on the market. Right now and until the end of the month, RAV Power is offering my subscribers 20% off. There's going to be a coupon code below as well as an Amazon link. So if you want to pick one of these up, now's the time to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Please give it a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you leave me a comment below and share this video to your friends and family on your social media. As always, if you haven't already done so, click subscribe. Subscribe to my channel for more videos.